Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for Sunday, October 3rd, 2021, 3 p.m. Eastern. Allowing our minds to come to rest is a good thing. The mind is a vehicle to discover the divine. It is not who and what we truly are. There are no experiences of suffering when there is non-attachment to the mind. Peace, lightness, and oneness is within. And that's the journey. Feelings are what make life extremely rich and wonderful. They give your life dimension and create a more intimate and personal experience of reality. Your feelings enable you to heal yourself as well as accept the infinite mystery of life. For today, allow yourself to let down your protective shields with the world and explore how you really feel about yourself, others, and the world today. Give yourself permission to feel anything and everything you can. Invite in and explore every type of feeling that comes into your body today. Confront the feelings you've been avoiding and breathe deeply into them. Sit with them and simply feel them. Keep your mind and heart open to this rich, rewarding, egoless experience. This is your turn to be emotionally free. Trust your feelings. Stop resisting them and dive into each one with an open heart, full of curiosity, wonder, and courage. When you stop trying to manage and control your emotions, they will transform you from the inside out. Your task is not to seek for love, but merely to find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against it. Really. No matter what horrific things that have happened in our past, the universe is not holding on to them. It is not judging you, condemning you, or holding you to be someone less than sacred. The universe sees all of you and knows you are both human and divine. It honors and respects each and every one of us exactly how we are. It is proud of the perfection that is created in all of us. Yes, the universe is totally in love with each and every single one of us, whether we believe it or not. We are being deeply and eternally loved by life right now. We don't need someone in our bed to feel loved. That's right. The most exquisite he healing feeling is already here, hidden deeper inside you. Call off the search for love out there and set your destination for exploring the infinite universal source of love within. This universal love is quite unique and unusual because it truly is deeply and eternal. It is a deeper spiritual type of love than romantic love as it continues loving you no matter what you think, say, or do. Only this type of love can heal every cell inside these bodies, enlighten our souls, and set us free from all our worries, fears, and pain. This is what real love is all about. No matter what you have done to others or yourself throughout your life, the universe has forgiven you. It forgave you the moment you needed to be forgiven. The universal love is always instantly there, bubbling up, peaceful, healing vibes within us all. We simply ha have to choose to sit back and let them in. Release the idea that love has to come from someone or something on the outside. Imagine it is a perpetually stream, perpetually stream of light flowing from the most mysterious divine place on the inside. Feeling this great healing, love, may start out on a mental, physical, emotional, or perhaps a super sensual level for you. Don't be too concerned about how, where, or when it shows up. Just know 
It is infinitely deep and real. There's always plenty of it. Just when you thought it was gone, it comes rushing in. All you need to do is simply relax into your life for an extended period of time. Then it will come. It often shows itself as some profound spiritual experience in the beginning. And this is your wake-up call so you know how powerful and real it truly is. Without this grand, deeply eternal love flowing in our lives, we remain dumb and numb to our highest spiritual path and life purpose. We feel lost, empty, and lonely without it. We, can, we cannot imagine that there is a gold mine of greatness buried inside us all. All it takes is a little digging into our emotional being, underneath the fears, doubts, and worries. With a small shovel of curiosity, we can find an amazing love at the core. This is the real gold. When we're willing to stop playing with the fool's gold in our lives, the best things in life begin manifesting. What is real gold? What is real gold? Is that which will never change. Let's take a moment to give our bodies an experience of this gold mine of love. Imagine that you're on a warm sandy beach in Hawaii. You're laying here in some distant peaceful cove all alone and the soft relaxing rays of sunshine are melting into your skin bringing deep healing sensations into where you need love the most. Simply relax. Open and imagine you are receiving this healing warm light into your body now. You may not be able to feel much at first yet keep opening and relax into the softening feeling. This softening energy will come into you very slowly as if it was a gentle massage from a child. It feels highly healing, extremely light, non-invasive, and super soothing. You might feel as if you are on an eternal vacation and have an infinite supply of free time. Ah, you'll notice that the softer your body can become, the easier it becomes to feel that you're receiving the love. In the beginning, it can be tricky to imagine and feel something is happening in your body without blaming it all on your mind. You may think, is this my mind or is it real? Don't get caught in your mind. Stay with the relaxing process. It will take time to soften the hard protective shell you have built around you. So don't give up too quickly or try to hard using your brain the universal love cannot be accessed by willpower. It must just happen all on its own accord. The miracle manifests when you can totally relax your body, stop stressing about your life, and let it all go. If you try too hard to let go, you are forcing things, and this soft, sweet love cannot flow. If you're not totally open and surrendered to the experience, your energy is too tight and you'll miss it. This deeper quality of love is so intelligent and subtle that, that it has an exquisite timing of its own and will arrive effortlessly when you least expect it. Through letting go of trying to attain it, it attains you. If one stops scrutinizing one's own self, which is the source of bliss, there will be no more misery in this life from Amrishi. To ensure you are feeling universal love inside you every day, there are a few key things you can do. Some people believe that from all the traumatic experiences in their past that they are, 
unlovable, unworthy, and undeserving of receiving love. They think they must fix themselves or do something to receive love. And that love is not something available for free just by being the normal way they are. This is a fallacy. Any belief which sounds like this will block it. There is nothing we need to do or prove ourselves to be worthy for this super sweet healing love to come in. It is our very birthright to be loved 24 hours a day. We are amazing divine beings, brilliant souls of light, and we deserve to have it all. All the darkness and all the lightness. Another key thing is to watch vigilantly what your mind is doing. Randomly through the day, notice where your mind is focusing and how it's perceiving reality. The mind is always creating some version of reality and rarely, clearly, the big universal picture seeing things as they actually are from the biggest perspective. The mind likes coloring life, believing today is a depressing gray day and last night was a red hot night. The mind is so creative, it's inventing up its own reality in every breathing moment. Even though the universe is showing us with blessings, deep eternal love every minute, we cannot see or feel this cozy energy as long as the mind is busy. When the mind is not totally present in this moment, it becomes narrowed and unable to see and feel the universal love in all directions. We cannot enjoy the colorful rainbow that is actually forming outside when we are in the basement watching some black and white scary movie on the past, in the, from the past on TV. There are so many things happening in the mind that it is continuously making us blind to this great love. When we're taking on too much, having too many commitments to deal with, life can feel like it's pulling us apart instead of putting us back together. As long as our energy is focused outwards, we keep moving outwards instead of relaxing deeper inside where the real love actually is. This great love is an inner journey, and that's all there is to it. If a, if a tree only focuses on growing its branches and not its roots, it is bound to fall over when some strong gust of wind passes through. Love is possible only when there is a deep acceptance of oneself, the other, the world. Acceptance creates the melu in which love grows, the soil in which love blooms, Osho. When you take a deep, long look inside yourself, you will probably first notice the rotten parts in you. These are what you consider your faults, how you are unacceptable, unworthy, and unlovable. Yet, if you can keep on looking, you'll see all these are just hard, critical ideas and that they stem from a needy place, desperate for love. Simply listen, as if from a distance, to whatever your fearful, negative, or critical voices are saying. Listen compassionately to what they are really needing. When we gently feel into what this critical voice is needing and afraid of becoming, the most amazing miracle occurs. We start to soften into the harsh voice, and it begins feeling more relaxed and at ease about it all. When we soften our energy around each criticism, they eventually melt away, and we can feel again the sweet, sensitive innocence we had as a child. We can taste our original enlightened spirit, who is glowing with love and extremely lovable. The more time we can spend being softer and lighthearted about life, the younger we'll feel and the more amazing this life will become. Another powerful secret to creating a life overflowing with universal love is this. Drop any fear that says, drop any fear that says, what will other people think of me? 
Anytime we are caught in thinking about what others think about us, we are losing time in deciding who we want to become and how we want to invent our future self to be. Remember, your God-given right is to be totally wild, fun, foolish, and absolutely free whenever you desire. You can fully show up for this liberated life every day. Just merge with your amazing, blazing, brilliant, smiling, loving light inside and blast it all over everyone. The world is our mirror, and it is always reflecting what is going on inside us on a deeper level. It is always teaching us what we most need to learn, which is learning how to live deeply and completely in love 24-7. When we base our lovableness on how others treat us, we miss the target. As long as we are focused on the mind or physical form of the other and not their spirit, we will forget all about universal love. When we give love deeply and eternally to everyone we encounter, notice what will happen. Once you find the love inside you, when you take a closer look at the world around you, all you will see is universal love in everyone and everything. You'll notice how the sun loves to shine its light on every living creature around the earth 24 hours a day. You'll appreciate how random people around the planet are providing you with food to eat, quenching water to drink, and interesting places to go see. You'll enjoy the fresh air that you have to breathe. And stop taking for granted this continuous beating heart that keeps you alive. You might also realize that you have a highly sensual, sexy body and start really enjoying your life with it. These are just a few gifts and central treats the universe has given you. They are each meant to help you soften and relax deeper into the feeling of this universal love that is in you right now. When love enters you, everything changes. You feel naturally relaxed as you are. You enjoy being alone, bathing in the raw, experience of being you there is a state of natural appreciation for all your dark parts just the way they are you're able to feel loved by others without falling into being dependent protected or needy they can be sad mad afraid or disappointed and it doesn't matter you have your connection to an infinite source and they have theirs you know that every situation is connected to love in the most creative way and form. With the universal love blossoming inside, you'll feel loved everywhere you go, and no matter who you are with. Don't rely on the mind for liberation. You are the sum cause of the entire universe. There's a story that uh, I feel compelled to share. It's by Osho. It's called Four Fools in the Cave. Four persons decided to go into silence. They moved into a cave. They wanted to live in silence for three months because they had heard so much about it. They had become so intrigued. They were so ambitious to gain something out of it it was not understanding that had brought them to the cave. It was greed. It was desire, ambition. Hence, within minutes, everything was exposed. Just within minutes, the first man said, I wonder whether I have put the candle out or not. It will be a sheer wastage. There is nobody in the house. The second one said, you fool, you have spoken and we have taken the vow of silence. The third one laughed and said, you are a greater fool if he had spoken what was the need for you to speak. 
And the fourth one said, thank God I'm the only one who has not spoken yet. Just by being silent, nothing changes. You remain the same. Transformation comes through awareness. Awareness brings a silence of its own. Very alive, throbbing with eternity, full of song. It is not sad and not serious because it is not dead. It has a dance to it. It is tremendously beautiful. It is positive, essential. It does not make you just a hollow thing. It makes you so full that you start overflowing with joy. You become so, so fulfilled that you cannot contain your contentment within yourself. You have to share it. You become a cloud full of rainwater. You have to shower it. So if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted, and I'm sure we all are, and the first thing that we care to do is relax these bodies we are in. And we are not the bodies. We are not the name. We are not the personality and characters. We are the God within. So it's fortunate for us that we know this and that we look up the body, and the body is the mind-ego. The body is the breath. Stress, anxiety, fear, the body. It's, and all of these, all of the stress, anxiety, fear, worry, concern, lack of, whatever, are thoughts that the ego mind generates. And these thoughts are not yours. They're the ego minds. So you embrace them, and then you move energy into form, you create it into reality, and then it becomes worry. And then it becomes stress. And then it becomes fear. Knowing this, we can master it. It's just like the body. It's like a sponge. It's like a super powerful magnet. And in this life, we attract everything. Because these thoughts are unending. They're absolutely unending. And they're not coming from us. They're coming from the ego mind. They're coming from all these program thoughts floating by. And, it's up, and we either grab them or we don't. So when you know that, you know that the body, it's like you're stark naked and you're running through mud and you become totally caked in the mud. It dries from the sun. And it's, this is no different than attracting fear, stress, worry, anger, greed, all of it. So what do you do when you get so caked with mud and it dries? You wash it off. It's so, and you feel heavy, stiff, not moving good. And when you rinse it off, you feel renewed. That's all, all of the negativities and the fears and anxieties, washing it off. Just like in, in, the, in the, the, the mud all over the body, the hair, everything. And it infiltrates us. None of us are exempt. But it's to know this. It's to know it. Total liberation is not very far away. It's just hidden behind you. Total liberation is not very far away. It is just hidden behind you. So whenever you feel the stress, the fear, the worry, the anxiety, questioning yourself, judging yourself, being hard on yourself, critical with yourself, move into, only you can do it, move into kindness, gentleness, generosity, and humbleness with yourself. Move into Deep eternal gratitude 24-7 with yourself and everything else. This redirects. And then you send thoughts. You create the thoughts. Love, appreciation, gratitude, kindness, 
You see, it's a choice. Total liberation is a choice. And the choice is yours. So the body responds. It relaxes. And you know when you're relaxed, when you're not moving, you're not thinking. You've left the mind, you've left the ego, and you're just being. You're not in a hurry to do anything. You, you don't have any of this chatter, this noise that we all have, 24-7 when we're in the mind and ego. But when you step out, you become totally at peace just by being. All that heaviness falls away. It can't come back when you're in that state. It won't come back. It's not there. Be surprised when you leave the mind and ego alone. Take a sabbatical from them. Magical thing to start moving into being. And when the body goes into that relaxation and it stills the ego mind and subconscious mind, it's in the now. And the now is all we have. You don't have the past. Past is gone. Long dead gone. Deader than a door now. The future hasn't been created because we create the future in the now. So everything that we decide to do is either suffering or love. That's another choice. Ask yourself what you choose. Not temporarily, but always, since it's always within you. When you feel all of this stress and fear and worry, just, just like washing the mud off your body, and you're flexible and light and confident, trusting, positive. And when you increase the positivity and you embrace the love that you are, then that fear, stress, anxiety, and worry is gone. Suffering has gone. And if you, ever, if you ever find the ego mind hitting you up with what's the point of it all? Remember, that's the ego mind asking you that question. What's the point of it all? What's the point of this life? To understand who and what you are, the God source, and then to enjoy the life in physical form, and to master the ego mind, and subconscious mind and to literally enjoy yourself and not take this life too seriously. So when the body is relaxed and we're in the now and we focus on our breath, divine positive energy, soul comes into the body powers the body, the body starts up, the breath is created, and the body supports the soul, the God. So it, it definitely is divine positive energy. Now we know when we look in the body, we can see these chakras, these wheels. Chakra means wheel. These are wheels of light. There's roughly seven from the tailbone to the top of the head. You, all of us, are etheric, spiritual, omnipotently powerful energy. Love. And we flow through it. We flow through these chakras, these wheels. 
and we are in every part of the body, every core, every every quantum quark. And once you begin to connect with who you are, the God that you are, in that body, you'll come to the point where you can completely heal the body in the blink of the eye because you know it. You're in it. You're in the cells. You're everywhere. You're in all tissue, organs, emotions. That's the God. You. We know that the soul comes into the body, powers the body up, everything starts up. The soul, the God, the pure consciousness is the heaven, the body, the earth. We, all of us, are heaven on earth. Some asleep don't know that. Some of the parts of us that are asleep don't know that. Those of us who are consciously aware to a certain extent do. In every step we take, we create paradise. And we're shining our light constantly, 24-7, outward, 360 degrees, flooding and literally blasting everyone with deep eternal love. All the time. Everywhere you go. It, even even just sitting all over the planet. Even though your ego mind might say, oh, this is silly, this is crazy. Then you'll know it is really, really real. Now, if you were to go in outer space outside and look at this planet, you would see that it glows. And you would also notice that all the surrounding universe, nothing comes close to its brightness at all. Nothing. Now, we have parts of ourselves, of the gods that we are, that we're all one, that are completely dead asleep. Then we have other parts of ourselves that are awake. These are the ones, the parts of ourselves that we seek out to join us in this meditation. And that's all the light energy beings and all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. That's the archangels, the cherubim, seraphim, the archetypes, ascended masters, Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Gaia, Saint Germain, Christ, El Moria, Abundantia, Pell, Thoth, Yala, Yeshua. All the galactics, off-worlders, and celestials. All of the inhabitants of inner earth, hollow earth, agartha, and beneath earth. All of our loved ones who have ascended out of body in this lifetime and all lifetimes that we've inhabited. Now, the eyes that we have with these bodies, we only see 1% of what is. So a lot of the, the earthly light energy beings, come in shape, color, sizes, forms, and configurations of which we don't see, we are familiar with just a smidgen, the fairies, the sprites, the elves, the gnomes, the dwarves, the trees, the trolls. The elementals, earth, air, water, fire, ether, wood, the mermaid, the dolphin, the whale, pegasus, unicorn, centaur, minotaur, Many, many, many more. And the off-worlders, the galactics, the celestials, we're, we, we just know roughly a smidgen of them. 
aware of them. Over a thousand species travel through the solar system every day. Trillions throughout the universe is every day. And the ones that we're aware of, the Pleiadians, the Syrians, the Arcturians, the Andromedans, the Feline, the Zeta Reticuli, Anunnaki, Nords, Greys, Draco, Reptilian, Golden Pyramid Avion. Now this particular group has been assisting us in our evolution, enlightenment, ascension, freeing ourselves from our own self-imposed bondage and our own self-imposed slavery. Now the archangels, their civilization vibrated at a different frequency than we do. That's why we don't see them like we see each other. But we meet with them, we interact with them lifetime after lifetime. And they deliver a message, but it's delivered in so many different ways. Sometimes you decipher it, but it always comes down to one understanding. Isn't it absolutely magna glorious to be alive in these bodies? And that is bliss. Now, tens of thousands can surround any one of us at any one time. Because of their vibrational frequency, they can house a large number in a small area. And if you want them to surround you, ask them. They will. The ascended masters have mastered physical form, sentient, into physical form, and out of physical form, hold pure consciousness, God form. We have ascended into physical form, are mastering physical form, creating our experiences to perfect our creation. And in the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions, we are all gathered, arm in arm, hand in hand, in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, non-negativity, stillness of mind, gentleness, kindness, generosity, humbleness, bliss, joy, peace, prosperity, benevolence. Tranquility, abundance. And we're all one. And we're all God. And we're all love. And our God force love light energy is in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever, beyond and forever. And it continues to intensify and it continues to expand. We immediately form a circle of light around the equator of this planet Earth, Gaia, Arya, and this now. This light emanates from the God source within each and every single one of us. It is so brilliant that it grays out the darkness of sacred space. It would take a billion trillion suns to even come close to its brightness. And we're flooding this planet with this brightness. We're all consciously aware that we are of the highest, of the highest high, deepest of the deepest, deepest. Purest of the purest, purest. Eternal love, gratitude, peace. Flooding all life, the highest supreme value in the universe. This entire planet on it, in it, above it, and below it. We begin to ascend above the planet, and we're immediately met with a massive ocean of glitter. It's like a ballroom globe of many different mirrors reflecting all the colored light, except this globe is a trillion times more intense, and it's reflecting everywhere, trillions and trillions of lights reflecting 
bouncing everywhere. We look at the source of the reflections and we see these little tiny microscopic mirrors. So we enter them. We discover that all of us are either teaching or learning from one another. We're either teaching, learning, learning, teaching, or both. So the next time someone pops into your life, whether for a minute or longer, instead of looking at their physical surface and judging them, you may want to ask yourself, what are they teaching me? What am I learning here? And it could be a frog, a bird, it could be anything. A pine needle. It's absolutely phenomenal that we have this on our endless journey. We're always learning from each other, teaching each other. We were immediately met with the emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael. This is a column of light that we created to remind us all that we are the power of healing. We're then met with the violet blue purple flaming light of Archangel Michael. This is a column of light that we created to remind us all of our omnipotent power, strength, and resolve. We are then met with the white fire. This is the column of light that we created to remind us all that we are imbued 24-7, head to toe, inside now, with a white fire armor. Nothing like the armor that you know of on this planet, way beyond that. And this armor cannot be penetrated, cannot be affected, cannot be weakened, manipulated, or deceived, or seduced. So all the lower dark matter, survival matter frequencies, demon possessions, attachments, can happen. Their frequencies are so low, as long as you, you maintain your frequency high, they can't be around it. They must sleep or they'll be vaporized. So we're protected always, 24-7. Yet, only you, only you, only you have the power that if you decide to lower your vibrational frequency low enough through hatred, greed, anger, fear, stress, envy, hurriedness, you will create a breach in your white fire armor, enough so to allow lower dark matter, survival matter frequencies to come flooding in. Now, if you do decide to do this, you're immediately met with a double column of light. We created these columns to remind us all that the purple transmuting flame, the first one that we created to remind us that we can bring in the purple transmuting flame, we can transmute all these lower dark matter, survival matter frequencies into neutralized substance, sending them to pure consciousness where they are no more. We then are met with the violet ray. This is the second column. We created this column to remind us all that we can bring in the violet ray right behind the purple transmuting flame, transmute, clear, cleanse, purify the area where these lower dark matter, survival matter frequencies were sealing the breach in our white fire armor, restoring our vibrational harmony, the highest of the highest high, deepest of the deepest, deepest, purest of the purest, purest, eternal love, gratitude, and peace. We're then met with the golden light, pink light. This is the column of light that we created to remind the soul that the gods in these bodies are the sun sunlight. 
the sun sets, the sun rises, rain, rainbows, skies, clouds, trees, the forests, the soils, ocean fronts, oceans, rivers, lakes, streams. We're everything. Everything is us. So the next time you view a sunset or a sunrise or a rainbow or a starlit night sky, it is you, the God within that body. You're the beauty, the majesty, the grandeur. It's you. Always has been, always will be, ever beyond and forever. We continue to ascend above the planet. Some of us step outside our physical form and hover effortlessly above it. Why do we do this? Because we can. We come in full contact with a massive crystal and light tower. We created this tower. It's just huge. And in the center of the column, we see this oblong sphere. In the center of the sphere is a golden white bowl of light. It is surrounded by several numerous multicolored rings of light. And all of this is literally saturating all of us in this warm electric energy that just literally comes in. It's like a warm embrace that never ends. Totally peaceful. And the golden white bowl of light is the highest of the highest high, the deepest of the deepest, deepest, and the purest of the purest, purest, eternal love. Then comes gratitude, peace, gentleness, kindness, generosity, humbleness, well-being, bliss, joy. tranquility and benevolence, great wealth, great prosperity, great abundance. And all of this that is continually saturating us is a reflection of the gods that we are in these bodies. Now at the top of this tower, we designed this so the golden oceans can come cascading down 360 degrees as it's doing right now flooding all of us, all life, the highest supreme value in the universes, nonstop. And this is the highest of the highest high, the deepest of the deepest, deepest, and the purest of the purest, purest eternal love. Now we are drops of this golden ocean. We also hold the essence of this golden ocean. Golden ocean is a drops, drops of the golden ocean. And the only illusion is separation. We continue to ascend. We come in full contact with our meditative sphere. It's that center circle. We all created this sphere well over three and a half years ago. It holds 1,600 of our meditations in perpetual motion. All of us gathered day after day, year after year, all the parts of us that are consciously aware, flooding this planet with the highest of the highest high intent, the highest of the deepest, the purest love, the highest, the deepest, the purest gratitude, the highest, the deepest, the purest peace, all on this planet, as far as you can see and beyond. This is a complete washing, cleansing. It's massive. Your real power in this life doesn't come from money, prestige, material luxuries, or physical strength. These things can all be taken away from you. True power comes from that which is permanent. It is found by discovering that one thing that cannot change or be destroyed. 
focus on that one thing which does not change or die in this life. It is not far away. In fact, it's closer than your next thought. By accessing your real power, you are no longer a victim to issues from your past or trying to manage who you will become in the future. To find your real source of power, look inward to where the source of your consciousness is coming from. This subtle energetic fountain of bliss is who you are. Take this precious day today and explore who and what you truly are. Pay close attention to this infinite stream of consciousness and surrender to the flow of its permanent and unchanging awareness all day long. I'll join you in the meditation and return to close us out.
take an easy breath in through the nose and an easy breath out through the mouth. Move easily and slowly. It is time to release any mental, emotional, or physical inner wounds you are holding on to so that you are more open and receptive to the divinity within. Redirect your attention towards the most soft, gentle, loving, healing energy you can imagine. Perhaps it's Mother Mary, a new puppy, a soft, fuzzy blanket, or receiving a massage from a divine healing master. Whatever you focus on, let yourself soften and welcome the relaxing, healing vibration all throughout your body. This gentleness will help you heal in more ways than you know. Imagine a soft healing energy is penetrating every cell in your body throughout the day. Notice how your face changes in the mirror when you are focusing on this healing energy. Take this with you for the rest of the day into the evening and night and the following morning, and we'll return here Monday. October 4th, 2021, 3 p.m. Eastern to continue our Gold Guided Meditation Call.